Hey guys, welcome to Life with Eric, and today we're going to be talking about Harvard University. Now, you may have heard of Harvard University. It's, oh, I don't know, it's just one of the most prestigious universities in the world, if not the most prestigious. I actually think Stanford's a little bit harder to get into or some shit, but I'm not entirely sure. So Harvard is typically in the news because they come up with a new way to detect cancer or announce that Bill Gates has donated like 50 million to the school to build another, another safe space or some crap like that. But today, Harvard is in the news for a whole another reason. A Harvard sorority has just announced that it will now be gender neutral starting the fall quarter. For you international kids, fall quarter is basically like August to December or September to December, uh, depending on whether you're a quarter system or a semester system. I think Harvard University is a quarter system, so it would start September. This sorority is called Kappa Alpha Theta, and it will now become gender neutral. Yes, you heard that right. That means that both guys as well as girls will be able to join the sorority and do what, you know, typical sorority girls do. I'm in college, so I can tell you that that includes... All that includes is having the big little sister bondings or I guess starting next quarter it will be big and little people bonding since I guess boys can now just shimmy along and become a part of this sorority. Now as you can guess this shit this caused a shitstorm of backlash from the parents of the Harvard sorority girls from the girls in the sorority themselves and as well as from the general public. So basically everyone who didn't make this rule is pretty pissed off. And it's for good reason. Let's say, for example, you're a parent whose daughter is going to college and is in a sorority. The last thing you want to hear is that your daughter has to now share her fun moments that she has with her sisters with some random ass dudes as well who just want to join a sorority just to look at hot girls. It makes no fucking sense because Harvard does know that they have something called fraternities, right? It's not like girls have sororities. And the guys are crying because they have nothing Greek of their own. A sort of brotherhood like the sorority girls have. I honestly think that this decision is made by some 65-year-old feminist who wants to erase anything that separates the guys as well as the girls at Harvard in an effort to be more inclusive. Unfortunately, for a Harvard faculty member, this person's pretty fucking stupid. Actually, that's another myth that I want to bust right now. A lot of these Ivy League faculty, as well as the students there, are actually possessing very low intelligence as well as critical thinking ability. I'm a current college student at an Ivy League, and let me tell you, some of my peers and teachers have straight up rocks between their ears. So it's really just a huge myth that these Ivy League kids are all Einsteins or the next Elon Musk. A lot of them are basically just in the Ivy League because... They're really good athletes, but they're not that smart or because their parents basically just paid for their way in. So since I have that experience, I'm actually not at all surprised that some loony Harvard feminist probably came up with this to be more gender conforming. That's this new term that's just been thrown around recently. I really think that this whole guys and sororities thing is going to backfire. And personally, I can't wait until it all goes to hell. So that's pretty much all for today and I'll probably be uploading a lot more videos to this channel. So please subscribe if you like the content. Thanks and I'll see you all next time. Enjoy the rest of the video. Nathan? Nathan? What are we gonna do with you? You must be tired of these lectures. I know I'm tired of giving them. 
And now you have to stay here with me all weekend instead of going on the retreat with everyone else? I don't care. Yes, that is the crux of the problem. I don't see why I'm the only one being punished. Because you started the fight. He wouldn't give me back my book. I told you to leave those books in your room. You only have yourself to blame. Doesn't give him the right to just snatch it from me. Does that give you the right to start throwing punches? It wasn't just about the book. What was it then? Nothing. I'll save it for confession. No matter what I try, you seem insistent on going down the same sad road as your brother. What a waste. See ya. Up and around we go. Whoa! Too slippery. and quiet. Uh-oh. Isn't it our job to help boys like him? In the meantime, I'm neglecting the other dozen boys under my care. <sighs> what do you want me to do? You know my opinion. <laughs> I'm not ready to give up on him yet. You can't keep avoiding it. Look, I'll talk to him in the morning, okay? Good night, Father. Good night, Sister Catherine. Damn it. Whoa, it's my file. Sister Catherine? Oh, darn. Oh. Ah, Sister Catherine, I've forgotten my keys again. Can you open the gate for me? Coming, Father. Thank you. 
almost there. Sam? Ooh, you gotta learn to watch your back. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's good to see you, little brother. What is that? Really? Again? It's nothing. You told me you'd stay out of trouble, though. He was talking shit about us. So? He said that Dad dumped us here because we're worthless, and Mom is in hell because... Nathan, Nathan, come on. They're just saying it because it gets to you, all right? You just gotta learn to laugh it off. You wouldn't. Well, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> here. You'll catch a cold. So, what are you doing here like this anyway? If the nuns catch you, they're gonna call the cops. Well, I got something for you, and I couldn't wait till Christmas. What? It's outside. What happened to us staying out of trouble? Uh, this is an exception. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now you jump. Come on, yeah, give me a hand. Right. The sister's feeding you enough. <sighs> that place is kind of empty. Where is everyone? Some Bible retreat. Yeesh. I remember those. <sighs> How's Father Duffy doing? He's the one decent guy in there. You should come and say hi. Nah. I don't need the guilt. This way. We're getting there. That was.